Mateo is a fully rounded martial artist. He also carries a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Yeah, I know he's won mm -hmm. many, many um, tournaments, actually. Yeah. He's out of the Alliance camp on uh, 3rd Avenue, um, which helped him a lot, I think, coming into Muay Thai because he had, didn't have the competition jitters that a lot of the newer fighters have. You know, when you step into the ring, you're not used to being in front of a huge crowd. And uh, Mateo's always very composed. All right, so very they touch Grant's Omar in the black and purple, Mateo in the white and pink. And Omar's definitely setting up a statement. Yeah, he he's not a uh, not shy about you know kind of heading in there right away. Straight in. Mateo using you know his clinch position well, trying to getting out of it, parrying, coming over the overhand. Good combination there Very by Mateo. Omar throwing a, a, a big knee there. Nice, nice throw. Yeah, and of course, you know, coming from jiu-jitsu, he has a really good idea of his positioning and his balance. balance. Nice yeah. overhand. Big jab there that lands, like, right under the chin. Omar needs to start keeping that jab and that teeth busy. Most likely that jab, because it looks like Mateo's going to grab that teeth. Yep. He actually grabbed a, a low grabbed kick and low came kick. over the top. Big knee there. Beautiful yeah. foot sweep. Yeah, he's just, he's got, you know, again, with jujitsu definitely helps him yep. have that body awareness, that kinesthetic awareness of who, who and when he has your balance. You'll notice Mateo came into that, came into that off of southpaw stance. He's doing a great job as the a shorter fighter of getting in and staying in and executing what he oh. wants. Those punches are starting to have an effect on Omar. Well, you know, it, it's kind of he's kind of having a hard time keeping Mateo at bay because as soon as he comes out of the clinch, he oh. connects. Oh, Wagner he's breaks it standing with a eight. standing eight. Well, that, that that shot landed flush. A couple of those shots landed flush. Yeah. Oh, that big shot there. He's backing him up. Putting his boxing combinations together, then kicking, and then as soon as he sees that Omer wants to come back with something, he steps out of range. Nice big teep that backs Omar into the corner. A body shot the that lands right underneath. Taylor's timing is like a Swiss clock. I mean, yeah. he's just really just finding the angles, finding the right positioning. I don't think uh, Chris Wagner is going to let. Big left kick. It doesn't look like Chris Wagner wants to let him take a lot more of this abuse. Another big leg kick there lands by Mateo. He does a good job of dipping out of range and then coming back with his own punch. And Omar's got welted up on his left, underneath his left eye. Actually, underneath and above. That whole side is swelling up. Nice body kick again uh, by Mateo. He, he just kind of just tries to swarm. You know, and then what he does successful is the second they break out of the clinch, he comes back right with his back own in. shot. You don't see that a lot. It's uh, sad because it's a great time to take advantage. Exactly. Oh. Omar he can't let Mateo set up. He's letting him get his timing, which is the worst thing. Yeah, and he's just slipping to the side. Uh, you know, you don't see that a lot in uh, kickboxing or Muay Thai because of the knees. All right, both fighters touch gloves. And again, it, it, Mateo is, is not allowed Omar to set anything up. 
He, you know, he stays out of distance and out of range. He's reacting Big to over, over the glove shots. Yeah, he's countering the jab. Every time Omar puts the jab out, he's just answering back to it. Right. So he's got his timing, you know, really, really well. A head kick blocked by Mateo. He, he does run in, um, but... Closes his space up a little bit yeah. quickly, yeah. So, but Omar hasn't uh, been able to take advantage of that. That was a big knee. Big knee. You know, if you, if you get a fighter who's overwhelming you like this, Gavin, what, what do you do? Well, in this position, you try to settle. The, he's got a body lock him. And it's tough for a taller guy to be able to body lock a shorter guy. Because, yeah, I mean, Mateo's having his way with him. Um, also, he's backing straight out. He's easy to follow. You watch. He doesn't step off at an angle. He backs straight up and into a corner. And Mateo just walks straight in on him. You can't back out when you're trying to, when you're fighting off, fighting off your back foot. Mm -hmm. He's trying to go for a head position to, to throw his own knees. But Mateo, again, is keeping his body and his hip very, very close to Omar so that he's not able to Makes put any power on those shots. Yes. Mateo's just going to go out full more. Oh. And the bell ends it. his record to five wins and no losses, Mateo Mangusto Mugula!